Good morning, and thank you all for being here. It is my absolute delight to invite you to join us in welcoming the newest addition to Lexington's affordable housing repertoire. My name is Holly Wiedemann, and I'm president of AU Associates, and we are the developers of this project. But I'm even more pleased to introduce you, to welcome you to our mayor, Linda Gordon, to cut the ribbon on this 35th project of AU Associates portfolio. Just a little bit, we all know this about, about our esteemed mayor, but as we know, she worked previously for four years as vice mayor and 16 years as a council member, making her the longest serving member of the council. She's also a registered nurse, and thankfully, her experience has equipped her well to lead us by example. She walks the talk by enforcing the use of masks, social distancing, and practicing CDC safety measures. She has been faced, as have all political leaders in this tumultuous times, with an unprecedented unprecedented challenge of COVID-19. She's had to make incredibly difficult budget decisions for our community. One decision that we and Lexingtonians are very thankful for is the restoration of the Affordable Housing Fund, aptly led by Rick McQuady, the former director of Kentucky Housing Corporations. Without those funds, this project would not have happened. The funding from this source helped us to acquire this property and provided gap financing, which is a loan, not a grant, so we'll be paying it back. And without this, this project now serving 71 independent seniors could not have been developed. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce Mayor Linda Gordon. Thank you so much, Holly. Um, who knew a registered nurse would get a pandemic, right? <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, this is a great morning to be in Meadowthorpe, right? Councilmember McKern? Yes. yes. And so, Councilmember McKern is here, and he represents this part of our city. And um, of course, I thank Holly Wiedemann again. Holly is founder and president of AU Associates. So we're here to officially open Metathorpe Landing, 71 affordable apartments for seniors. And our city, as we all know, continues to have a great need for affordable housing. Since 2014, Lexington's Affordable Housing Fund has invested $15 million in the development and preservation of 1,755 affordable housing apartments, townhouses, and single-family homes. The fund has leveraged an additional $152 million from private and governmental resources for the development of these units. That's pretty incredible when you think about it. An investment of $15 million by the city, leveraging $152 million in mostly private investment. We still have a lot of work to do, of course, in affordable housing, but we've been working on it. We're chipping away one apartment, one home at a time. These apartments at Meadowthorpe Landing come equipped with energy efficient appliances, central heating and air, extra storage, a secure building access control system, and abundant natural light. And the development also has a community room, a fitness area, walking trails, laundry facilities, an outdoor gazebo, and extensive landscaping. All floors are served by an elevator. And all of that sounds just perfect for senior citizens. 
Now, Josh, Council Member Josh McKern is with me, and Holly and her team have worked with the folks in Meadowthorpe and its outstanding neighborhood association to ensure that Meadowthorpe Landing is a good fit for this area. So I'd like to invite Josh McKern, Council Member in this area, to uh, address us at the podium and tell us a little bit more about the need for affordable housing in your district. Welcome. Good morning, everybody. And uh, thank you all for being here this morning. Today is a great day as we celebrate another accomplishment in the Lexington community, the completion of Metathorpe Landing. Affordable senior housing has been a focus for many, and to see this beautiful 70-unit building completed in the second district is a huge win for all of us. The Meadowthorpe neighborhood is beyond an amazing neighborhood. With accommodations nearby, public transportation, and neighbors who welcome each other with open arms, this site will be a great addition for all. I'd like to thank Ms. Holly Wiedemann, Johan, and the rest of the AU associate team for their excellent communication through all of this process, their diligence, and their focus on expanding affordable senior housing here in Lexington. Thank you all. Thank you so much, Councilmember McKern. And now I'd like to ask Holly Wiedemann to come back to the podium. And um, I want her to tell us a little bit about how she made this project fit into the neighborhood. She's really good at that sort of thing. Thank you. Well, as you all know, it takes a, a village to create a project and we can't do it without our partners. Regretfully, because um, given COVID, many of our first string can't be here today, but I would like to, to give you a shout out to our partners. Um, I am incredibly thankful for our relationship with Lord X Argent. And they are the architects that, that did this. And this is Elizabeth, who is our primary architect on this project. And when the mayor said that we made, made this project fit within the context of this neighborhood, we worked very hard on the architecture, the siting. This was a very curious site because it's shaped like a triangle. But what we wanted to do is blend this into the community of Meadowthorpe, and that's why you see a lot of brick. And that's why you see it's being re very respectful of the context around which it's surrounded. So it's lots of brick, lots of landscaping to fit into this neighborhood. And I am even more excited to be working with Brett Construction. This is Brett Setzer, who is not only a dear friend, but he is who built this with his team. And with CB on site, who is our project supervisor who is who is working real hard putting on the finishing touches that uh, as you can see nothing misses their discerning eye and although uh, I will tell you that he's a gem he will tell you that he's a bear to work for I don't know you'll have to ask the crews but the team on the ground from AU is who really makes this happen I want to thank Johan Graham my director of construction right over there who uh, may, had shepherded this project since I made the first visit to the Neighborhood Association. And that was, I will tell you this very quickly, the very first visit um, to the Neighborhood Association, when I walked in, all the neighbors were like this. Mm -hmm. And they said, what do you plan on doing? Because the developer is always a little bit scary. And this was just as uh, one of the other neighborhood associations was fighting a developer who didn't listen to them. And they said, what's your plan? And I said, well, we don't have a plan. We really wanted to find out what you would like to see, if you'd like to see family or seniors. or And so that is how the conversation evolved and pretty soon I think we have a lot of residents from Metathorpe who said when can we move in I mean that's 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 the way it needs to happen um, since then Johan handled every meeting since giving them updates sharing with them every step of the way 
And the handoff to Martha Dryden, our Director of Property Management, occurred later as we began to bring this online. And our property manager, Eliza Van Dussel, has done a yeoman's job in getting these, leasing these 71 units up. In fact, I think we have more applications than we have units at this point, but the good news is we've got another project coming online with this same team next summer, and it's named the Oasis at Kearney Creek. We are so thankful to develop this in my hometown of Lexington. We believe in infill, affordable housing, and making the world a better place. Right down the road, um, we look forward to having a, an opening at Victory Point, which is a development for veterans, and um, it is right down on the on the uh, VA hospital site. So again, thank you so very much. Thanks to our mayor. Thanks to Council Member McCarn, and we are going to cut the ribbon right now that we're going to have right across the front. Johan, you want to bring bring our ribbon, and we'll make it official. <laughs> Yay! All right, thank you. And if anybody needs a haircut, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right.